What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and some more Blood and Plunder. We're going to take a look at the other major English special character or legendary commander that we have models for right now, and that is Henry Morgan. So we're going to get this open, take a look at the card and stats, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back guys, and as you can see, Morgan is quite the beast here, and also hefty on the points cost, 42. And he can lead any English Caribbean militia, buccaneer, brethren of the coast, or, of course, his own custom force, which is also a pretty uh, badass one. So he has, a, again, massive command range of 20, command points 3, just as we saw with Kid. Uh, main weapons, brace of pistols, standard melee weapon, uh, but it is very loaded on the special rule side. So he's got broadside, lucky, very inspiring, misfortune at sea, we'll see what that is, and then God's blessing or the devil's luck. But before we do that, let's take a look at the model, which is fantastic, just that iconic pose there, as you can see in the stat card. Again, just gorgeously detailed here. Oops, very flamboyant. As befits the character. Alright. So, flipping over. We have... So, broadside. All artillery fired. Let's see here. Get this more in focus. All artillery fired during the commander's activation are fired simultaneously, hence it all counts towards the same range attack. And all dice for the shooting test are rolled simultaneously. This may increase the chances of scoring critical hits. So very nice there. So obviously very useful uh, if you are playing anything involving ships with multiple cannons. Lucky, any time during, or sorry, any time this commander's force uses a fortune point for a reroll, the fortune point is not spent. Uh, if the reroll, or sorry, if the result of the reroll is not better than the original roll. So basically, if you're not getting the benefit out of that roll, you'll actually get another chance at it later. So pretty cool stuff there. Very inspiring. So let's see if we can't just get this better focus here that seems to be better all friendly units within the command range of this commander may reroll failed rally test so that's pretty spicy there and again with 20 inch range that's a, that's a pretty good bubble that you can cover on the board so basically keep a lot of your units if possible within that 20 inch range uh, and you'll enjoy the benefits of that and then misfortune at sea so a force that this model is commanding may not spend fortune points to reroll failed checks to run aground attempt repairs change sail settings or perform advanced maneuvers so a little bit of a, a ding there as far as having to deal with that and then finally god's blessing or the devil's luck a force led by this commander starts the game with four fortune points actually so you got those awesome of course three command points and then actually enjoying one more fortune than normal so hell of ability there lots of good things with morgan so we'll take a look in a separate series of videos of course uh, all the different english factions but of course when we get to Morgan's Buccaneer Force, um, you know, then that will obviously be very relevant and how he actually fits in there and how that force performs. So, but yeah, Morgan is really one of the best commanders. Again, you're going to pay for the points uh, or, you know, pay for that um, investment that you're making there, the 42 points, but well worth it uh, just in general and certainly when he's leading his own force. But just, a, you know, great stats, uh, more fortune than uh, a normal character would have access to, and just an overall great set of special abilities as well. So, as always, let us know your stories, guys. Have you fielded Morgan or played against him, and how have those games gone? Hit us up in the comments there. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that helps support the channel. And then we will see you in the next one with more Blood and Plunder content. Take care.